Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have yet another unboxing. I know I'm posting a lot of unboxings, but it's just comeback season per usual, usually around this time. So yeah, this time we have yet another Eyes One comeback with one reeler act four, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is a four. So, <laughs> wow, I sounded really stupid. But anyways, we do have all three versions here. We have the scene one, two, and three. So yeah, before we get into the albums, there is a pre-order special like photo card set if you bought like the set all three together. So I guess we can look through that first. So yeah, this kind of reminds me of like Twice's photo card set thingies. Anyways, let's just look through them. So yes, first we have a group card. Cool. <gasps> Whoa, oh my God, these are such nice pictures already. So we have Unbi, the backs are also like signed. Wow, oh my God, I can't believe they're like selfie cards. That's so cute. So yeah, apparently you can only get these cards if you buy like the set. Like you can't just like buy one of each version individually. You have to buy like the sets, like designated sets or else you don't get them. So yeah, I got these from K-Town for you. So they do have like a set listing. So yeah, if you want to get these cards, make sure you get that. And yeah, these are such cute cards. So definitely make sure you get them if you buy these albums. They're really nice. Cute. So yeah, that was the photo card pre-order set. And now let's go ahead and start with this version. This is the scene one. I really like this sort of album packaging, like this box with a magnetic side. It's super nice. But yes, ooh. I'm assuming this is like random stuff maybe, so yeah. Oh, never mind. I see all the photo cards and stuff, so get that out of the way. And then here we have the CD. So this is kind of like, I guess like a film concept. I don't know, but yeah. Oh, this is the postcard. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Oh, this is a random member. <gasps> Ooh, I got Minju. Wow, this is so pretty. That's really cool. So you can like switch out the front cover thing. I remember for the last album, they did like a random like member cover for the book, but this is much better because you know, if you wanna trade for a specific member, you can just like trade this thing. That's super nice. Okay, love that. So yes, oh, okay. There was like one random thing in the book, but I pretty much took everything else out. Oh wait, let me show this photo book. I'm an idiot. This is what the photo book looks like. It's nice and thick. The cover is so pretty, that is so nice. But yeah, here we have another, oh, if I just skipped the page. So yes, we have another Eyes One comeback, OMG. Eyes One is just pumping out all these comebacks. This is literally their third one this year. It's crazy because like, it hasn't even felt that long since Eyes One's last comeback. But at the same time, it's felt like a long time. I don't know, again, quarantine has just made time feel like it's nothing. So yeah, but it's crazy how this is their third comeback. But of course, you know, you gotta, I guess, um, oh shit. I guess, you know, you gotta milk out the comebacks before, you know, the contract ends. So yeah, but it's so sad to just think about how Eyes One is like a temporary group. I don't know. I feel like, again, a lot of people say this, but Eyes One being a temporary group is just so sad. I don't even want to think about it. Okay, let's not talk about that. But anyways, yes, we do have another Eyes One comeback. And this comeback, I actually really enjoyed it. Panorama isn't one of my favorite Eyes One title tracks. I still feel like Fiesta is definitely a superior title track. I still listen to it till this day, but Panorama is still pretty good. I think I liked it better than Secret Story of the Swan. The thing about Eyes One title tracks though is I feel like all of them kind of have like similar, um, I guess the structure, like the song of the structure. Wait, what? The structure of the songs kind of sound similar, I guess. I mean, it's not a huge problem, like a lot of groups also do that as well, but I don't know, sometimes it can make Eyes One's title tracks feel a little similar, you know? But either way, their songs are all bops, which is, you know, why I stan Eyes One. So 
Yeah, also I love this outdoor concept thing. It's like countryside, I guess. <laughs> what am I even saying? But yeah, Panorama is definitely a bop. It did take me like two or three listens to get used to, but I still ended up liking it in the end. So yeah, and also I really enjoyed this album as well. I feel like this is the album that I enjoyed the most for Eyes One out of all their previous albums. So yeah, when I first listened to their B-sides for this album, I really enjoyed it and I did listen to it like more than once. <laughs> Sometimes when I listen to an album for a group, like I just listen to it once just to see and then I kind of just forget about it. But I did listen to this album like a couple of times because yeah, I really enjoyed the B-sides for this album, so love that. So yeah, overall this comeback was really nice, and yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say about like this comeback song-wise. I know um, they didn't really do a performance yet, I guess. I mean, if you exclude the Mama one, they haven't really promoted on music shows yet because today's Thursday and M Countdown didn't premiere today, so I guess the first stage is going to be on Music Bank, I'm assuming. Unless Music Bank's canceled too, I don't know, but I can't wait to see their music show performances because Eyes One choreos are usually really cool, so can't wait to see it. So yeah, besides Panorama, I think the B-sides I really like are Island, Sequence, and then this one. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think Also Mio. Sorry if I botched that, but I really enjoyed those three songs, so yeah. Oh, are these like- oh, these are like things too, so, okay. So yes. Oh wow, they're really tiny. <laughs> I don't know if anyone can read that, but yes, here we have the photo book. And then there's actually a lot of goodies in here, so yeah, let's see. First we have- oh yeah, there's this like new social media like thingy that they're on, it's called Universe, so I guess there's like a promotion thing for that. Okay, this was the thing that was in the photo book. It's like this little like film thingy and I got Yuri. I love these like film thingies. I mean, they are like a little strange to collect, but I really like clear cards. I know a lot of people don't really like clear cards, but I personally like them, so. And then it looks like we have this little, what do you even call this? It's like what you put in like a film thingy. <laughs> but it's of all the members. This is really cool. So there's that. And then we have this. This is just like a ticket, I guess. <laughs> That's really cool too. So this is really like a whole like film concept, I guess. I mean, the song is called Panorama, so yeah. I just saw this photo card, but we got Sakura. OMG, wow. Wait, did she have pink hair in the music video? Why don't I remember her pink hair? I don't know, I'm stupid, I guess, but it's so pretty. <gasps> Ooh, so I got Sakura, and then who's this? <gasps> Ooh, I got Nako. Oh my gosh, their selfie cards are always so cute. They honestly do have the prettiest cards though. That's really cute. And then we have a third photo card. <gasps> Ooh, so I'm guessing this is like an AR card and I got Chewan. They always do like these AR cards now, I guess. They did this in their last album. Ooh, I like her outfit. It matches with the purple background. Okay, and then last but not least, we have this. Ooh, I got Chewan again. Oh, this, oh, this is like a film picture, I guess. That's really pretty. So yeah, kind of like a disposable camera thingy. So yeah. I got Chewan. So yeah, that was the first version and now let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have scene number two. Again, really love this packaging. So yeah, anyways, let's open this up. Oh, the photo book's upside down. Okay, let's see who we got for this like random member postcard. Let's see. <gasps> Ooh, I got Yena. I mean, Yuri. <laughs> Oh my god, sorry guys. I'm like so out of it right now, as you can tell from my voice. <laughs> but yes, I got Yuri. I always got Yena and Yuri confused, like when I first learned Eyes One's name, so sorry about that. <laughs> so again, here is the CD. It's just like the same thing, but in a different color. I guess this is what this looks like in the box. The film, it's so weird that the film thingy, the square like clear film thingy is inside the book and the rest of the photo cards and stuff are like outside. So 
I guess just like a heads up if you're getting this album. <laughs> kind of weird, but anyways, now we move on to the second version. So yeah, I actually do really like this whole film concept. Like film is one of like my favorite aesthetics, I guess, you know, like disposable cameras, like Polaroids, movies, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Is that a weird aesthetic to like? But yeah, I really like how they um, went with that concept. And this is kind of like, what do you call this? This reminds me of like theater. I don't know, they're like on stage or something. So like the spotlights on them. But yeah, okay, like I said earlier, I'm like so out of it right now. Like it is um, finals week for me. So if my voice seems like I'm really tired and like unenthusiastic, I'm just really tired. I'm kind of at like the line of being burnt out, I guess. I don't know, there's just a lot of shit in my life going on. And you know, it's December, so it's like finals week for me. My finals start next week and obviously I need to like study for those. And it's also, of course, my birthday. This always happens where finals is always on the week of my birthday. Like even in high school, it was like that. So, you know, just a great time to be celebrating. So yeah, I'm not gonna do anything like big. I guess I'm just gonna have dinner or something, like a fancy dinner or whatever. I don't even know. I'm just so out of it. Also, I'm like um, taking care of a group order, my first ever group order, which finished today, so. I can chill on that until the items like ship and stuff, so yeah. And then of course I have here YouTube, so yeah, I didn't expect these Eyes One albums to come so quick. I thought they were going to arrive next week because that's what the tracking said, but DHL always ships things or delivers things super quickly, so yeah, that's why the albums arrived today. And I am also going back home today, like in three hours, so I wanted to get this unboxing films before I went home so that I can edit it at home and then upload it tomorrow, which is when you're watching this, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, and I just came back from like doing some work outside. It was super cold. So yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just so out of it right now. So sorry if you guys get mad if I got Yudi and Yena confused for that postcard. I do know all their names now. Like. I always say I'm really bad with names. If you guys remember my video, my Eyes One haul, where I started collecting Eyes One albums, like I just didn't know like half of their names, but I know them now. It just took me like a whole year to learn them. So yeah, usually with groups that are like 12 or more members, it takes me like months for, to remember like everyone's name. So yeah, but if you guys didn't know, Unbi is my bias. Oh my God, can we talk about her short hair? Like, holy crap. Didn't she always have long hair, like, throughout the span of Eyes 1? Now they just, like, chopped it off and dyed it blonde, but she looks so good in the blonde short hair, though. Like, a lot of idols, when they have, like, long hair and then they just suddenly chop it all off, I don't know, I feel like short hair really suits a lot of idols, so she looks really good in the short hair, so... I usually have bad luck with pulling Unbi. I, I like, barely pull Unbi in photo cards, so... Let's see if that changes today. So anyways, so we have this. Ooh, I got Chaewon again. Oh my God, I'm pulling Chaewon a lot so far. So yes, we got her like little film thingy. And then now we have this ticket again. This is really cute. And then we have, oh. Oh yeah, I did see this in Ava's video where there's like different inclusions per like album, but oh my gosh, I just noticed I got Unbi. <gasps> Ooh, I got her little like sticker thing. I mean, it's not a photo card, but hey, at least I pulled Unbi something, I guess. <laughs> and then we have this like universe thingy. Here's the little circle thingy. Again, don't really, don't really know what to call this, but yeah, it's like all the members. And then let's see. First photo card. Ooh, Minju. I couldn't really tell from a distance, but I got Minju. I mean, oh shit. I know them now. It just took me like a whole year to learn them, so. <sighs> Guys, I'm so disappointed in myself. I really said that with full confidence. It's Yujin. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, guys. This is so embarrassing. Holy shit. Oh my god. Let's just pretend that it didn't happen. Anyways, moving on to the next photo card. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Did I just... Is this like a duplicate? Like, I got two in one album? <gasps> Ooh, OMG, OMG. No wonder, because on the corner of my eye, I saw that I had four photo cards, so I was like, wait a minute. 
Doesn't this album come with three photo cards? So I guess we got like the accidental duplicate. Ooh, this one's a little scratched up on the back, but I got two Eugens. Next photo card. Oh my God, Chaewon again, damn. I'm pulling a lot of Chaewon, wow. But the photo card is so cute. I love her outfit. Okay, and then the last photo card. Aw, I got Hitomi, super cute. Their photo cards are always the cutest. But yeah, that was the second version and now let's move on to the last one. We are finally on to the last version. I really love this like, what do you call this? Maroon, ruby color. This looks so elegant, the photo set. Oh, did I get Unbi? Oh, <laughs> I got Hitomi again, cute. I saw the blonde hair and I was like, oh my gosh, I got Unbi. It doesn't matter, It's this is still super cute. So there's that. Oh, looks like this one includes a poster. Interesting. And then again, here's the CD. And this is what it looks like in the box. And this is what the photo book looks like. This photo book looks like the fanciest with like the color concept. But yeah, kind of gives me like vintage vibes. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, they all look so elegant. <gasps> Ooh, so pretty. OMG, okay, again, sorry you guys. <laughs> I totally fucked up on the last photo card pulls and I just 100% called Yujin Minju. I don't know, it's always Yena, Yuri, and Minju and um, Yujin that I always get confused for some reason. I don't even know why. I don't know. Ugh. I just know that there's gonna be some people that are gonna be irritated by me. I'm really sorry. You guys can flame me in the comments, I guess. I'll accept it. But I remember in my Eyes 1 haul video, I fucked up on the name so badly that someone left a comment. They're like, why are you collecting Eyes 1 albums if you don't even know their name? Like, how dare you? You're fake. But I don't know if that's exactly what they said, but it was something among, along those lines. And I was like, you know what? This is a way for me to learn their names, you know? Like, you know what? You don't need to, like, know all their names or, like, you know, be like that in order to, like, collect their albums, you know? Especially for a group that was, like, newer i guess like rookie groups i feel like buying albums is like a step towards you know learning all their names and stuff that's why they put their names like that you know so you can learn i'm a visual learner okay so yeah that's my response to that comment even though that was like months ago but yeah i'm sorry hopefully <laughs> Oh my god, I don't even know like how to defend myself for that one. Like that was just a total disaster. Again, I'm sorry, I totally fucked up on that. But yeah, hopefully there aren't too many mad wise ones that are, or wheeze ones that flame me in the comments for messing that up. That was really bad though. But yeah, anyways, let's not um, focus on that. Let's just focus on this really pretty photo book. I love the fabrics that they used and the fact that I guess they use like flash photography or something, so it makes the fabric look like super cool. It's like reflective kind of. But I really love their outfits. I feel like this photo book might be my favorite because of like the sheets and then like the outfits and the accessories. So pretty. Yeah, I love their outfits. Like all the bejewel dresses makes it really this this photo book is the one that gives me the most theater vibes i know i said the other one was like theater vibes as well but this one gives me like the theater vibe like great gatsby vibes okay maybe not great gatsby but something along the words i mean the lines of vintage theater i don't know what am i even saying guys <laughs> okay this unboxing is definitely one of my worst unboxings again i'm sorry <laughs> I'm just a total mess. I'm so not in the filming mood. Okay, you know what? Let's stop being negative Nancys. So yeah, anyways, eyes one. So gorgeous. I wonder when um, Minju... Wait, what? I forgot what I was about to say. I totally forgot. <laughs> Ooh, I like how they put this little headband on Wanyoung. It looks like a crown almost. Ooh, this is such a pretty picture. So pretty. But yes, that was this photo book. Again, here we have the lyrics. And then their thanks to's. I'm pretty sure they're all the same. So just quickly flip through that. 
yeah so that was that photo book now let's move on to the goodies so first for the film thingy i got hitsumi omg i'm like pulling all the same members for like all the pulls and then we have the little universe thingy so i guess for this album you get a poster so it's cool how they include like different goodies for each album it's like a variety so i really appreciate that but here's the poster sorry this is like such a bad way of showing it but that's what it looks like why does this smell so weird this poster smells funny Ooh, on the back is like a little collage. Oh, that's so cute. It's like a little like film sort of poster. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, this is not fit in the frame well, but there's that. And then again, we have this little Wheel of Fortune for eyes one. And then now we have this ticket. Stapled. First photo card. Yujin. Ooh, Yujin again. <laughs> oh, this is her like, I guess, concept card or like far away card. So I pulled it again for this version. Next photo card. Minju. Oh, wow. I'm like pulling a lot of the same members, but oh, this photo card is so pretty. Ooh, I like her top. It's like Alexander Wang. Gorgeous. And then now we have the last one. Oh my god, of course, it's Hitomi again. Wow. I think I pulled like the same like three or four members, but you know what? That's really cool. I like that. So yes, so pretty. But yeah, anyways, that was this entire um, unboxing. So yeah, that was my unboxing for Eyes One's One Reeler Act 4. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know, again, this video was like such a mess. I don't know. I just don't really feel like myself right now. So yeah, I really apologize if, you know, you guys get mad at me for like fucking up names or if I don't sound like energetic or something like that. Sometimes, you know, I'm just a human. I can't be perfect. So yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> You guys can totally flame me in the comments, I'll accept it, but yeah, again, so sorry. I think I'm just gonna, you know, take a break for a while after filming this. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video or if you guys watched it till the end, thank you so much um, for dealing with me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.